everyone welcome back to my channel um i wanted to take a moment just to get caught up with you um and tell you my theme for this year so when i went to phoenix arizona for the division 45 midwinter meeting i helen neville um who's just such an awesome scholar and just a fantastic mentor um in the future i will kind of tell you a story about how i came to know her uh, and know of her and her research and just why she is someone who just really has stuck out to me from day one of my career and um I don't know why this is so hard for me <laughs> um Helen Neville at the midwinter meeting talked about radical hope she listed a few things that she thought was just really important for this upcoming year 2017 and just things that we should think about and consider as things are changing um there's so much happening already in the the new presidential <laughs> transition uh with president trump and just so many things happening for me personally and the people that i love around the, around me and in my village so I really just wanted to talk about why Radical Hope has become my theme for this year. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I hashtag two things, which is love the life you live. And so that started a couple of years ago. I was really just thinking about why I was so unhappy and why I wasn't happy with the life that I had set forth. And after really thinking about that process and thinking about all the things I went through and the transitions and uh, leaving New Mexico State University, um, it was just like, why do I not love every single day of my life? And why am I not in love with my life? So that theme came about and really just putting forth like whatever you do that day, whatever you have going on, you should be in love with it. And if you're not in love with it, you should change it. And so this year... Um, leaving my old university and coming to University of New Mexico was just such a blessing. And it has been really hard, y'all. It has just been personally challenging. Professionally, it is the best thing I could have done. Personally, I still go kind of go back and forth on if it was the best decision, um, just because there's so much turmoil. There's so much... Um, I don't even know what else to call it. It's just, I'm growing. I'm growing and I'm growing a lot. And it, it is one of the hardest things to do is to grow and to change. And so when um, Dr. Helen Neville talked about radical hope, I was like, yes, yes. Like there's so much happening. There's so much going on in the world. There's things that are very good and very bad at the same time. And yet I am still hopeful. Like, things have been so hard, but I am hopeful. I wake up hopeful. I visited uh, University of New Mexico, which I'll kind of talk about that with you guys next week. Um, and it was just such a great reminder of how far I've come and where I started. And I think that I get so caught up. I personally get so caught up in not making all these great, amazing strides. And I forget that I have the chance every morning to wake up and do better and be better than I was yesterday. And that opportunity and that chance is exactly what I need. And I need hope. We all need hope. And at this at this point in our lives, we may need some radical hope. So that is the theme for this year. Um, I just feel so empowered and excited and just really hopeful to talk to you guys about it um, and kind of let you know why I have adopted uh, Dr. Helen Neville's a definition of radical hope because I am hopeful and I think there will be times in very dark spaces where we feel that we just can't move forward and that we're not making any progress but I'm gonna hold on to hope that we are so um yeah I think I do and I have known for a while what my theme for this year was, but I think I really needed to sit with it and let it just surround me and be with it. And so I hope that you will join me this year um, in Radical Hope. I hope that you will use it as a hashtag and, you know, message me. Tell me what it means for you to have Radical Hope in 2017 and what it looks like, how you define it. So I'm really excited. I 
can't thank you enough for being on this journey with me and I hope that you will like this video and also subscribe. Um, yeah, radical hope. It's kind of crazy, but I'm excited and I'm ready. Um, three things. Three things I loved this week. Um, I really love being a student again. I love being a doctoral student. I have not always appreciated it. And I am glad to be back in the classroom, back being pushed past my limits and just learning so many things. So that's number one. Um, number two, I am just so grateful for the people who've surrounded me during this last week that wasn't even that difficult for me. Um, relatively to the people I know and the things that other people are going through, the just love that people have given me without, without expecting me to pay it back is just overwhelming. And so that is definitely that is definitely something that I will hold on to for a really long time, probably for the rest of this year. Um, and three, I just love, I really do like University of New Mexico. And I, I know that I'm from New Mexico State and I'm an Aggie through and through, but just the people I've met on campus, the people in my program and in my college, everyone has just been so amazing. Um, I have been fighting the sickness and allergies so bad. I probably will have them for the rest of my life, but just the kindness and compassion people have shown me and just been willing to help me <laughs> just go, just transition to help me with my transition. And I really didn't help. So, so I really just want to highlight those three things. Um, and really just, I'm excited for the rest of the semester. I'm excited to, um, talk to you and blog to you, but I also hope that in the description box, you guys will tell me kind of things, some things you're looking to hear about, some things you're looking to see. I am hoping to do a town hall soon. And so I will put those details most likely on my social media. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be following me on Instagram. Why do I look like a ninja? Um. Okay, I gotta stop because now it's just getting weird. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you guys are just doing well and I'm sending you many love and blessings and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.